Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, tonight we're going to use these two same motors except a little bit different. We have them coupled up directly. Uh, the output of this generator comes to a full bridge rectifier and then to the capacitor and then it's going to run back to the primary battery that's running the motor. So we're going to get this started here and you can take a look. So right now um, it's not hooked up. Um, the output of here is just sent to the light for now. So let's get this thing started up here. See what happens. So right now I'm just going to bring it up to speed. So here's full speed. We're using a 48 volt battery as before. You can see the voltage on the capacitor for the moment. Uh, right now it's using um, 700 milliamps, 0.7. So what I'm going to do is set this down and hook this up. See if you notice the difference. So now this is under load. The generator is actually coming back and putting power back into the original battery. And it's using 300 milliamps more than it was before. So motor to generator does not really help anything. It just makes the motor draw more power. All right. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to disconnect the generator. And then I'm going to hook up the output and then you'll be able to see the difference. So go ahead and disconnect this right now. So it goes back to 0.70 or 700 milliamps. And now what I'm going to do is shut this down and I'm going to hook up the output of the motor back to itself. Okay, so now we have the generator still hooked up, but there's no load. Uh, the output of the primary motor is going into the capacitor and then back to the battery. So we were 700 milliamps running the generator with no load. So we're going to fire this back up and see if you notice the difference. So same load, still turning the generator under no load condition. The output of this motor is going through the capacitor and back to the battery. So now we're just under five. So by routing the output of this motor back to the battery, because the output is independent of the primary circuit, um, so we basically save 200 milliamps of power, because before it was 0.70, now it's 0.48. So we saved a little over 200 milliamps. The motor's still doing some work, but we're using a lot less power and the motor is going the full speed it's not getting loaded down like in the generator scenario so tell me what you think on your comments and um, yeah there's the capacitor voltage going into the battery so anyway hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think